What's up, everybody? I'm Kevin. I'm Laura. And we are Vegan, Vegan RV. RV. What's up, man? This is my most favorite food ever. Well, I think the, the genre is your favorite breakfast. That too. Well, yes. Breakfast for breakfast. Yep. Or breakfast for lunch, which we've been doing a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, what? Usually, if I'm out at a restaurant, I have my choice of vegan breakfast items. Mm -hmm. It's French toast. Yep. If there's French toast, I'm in. Best vegan French toast I've ever oh, had. Oh, I know the answer. I know the answer. Go. Pick Me Up Cafe in Chicago. That's right. Boom. <laughs> not even an all-vegan restaurant. Yeah. And it's not even close compared to everybody else's vegan French toast. Yeah. It's the jam. So hopefully I get up to Chicago. After all this is done, yeah. I need some some of that vegan French toast. But tonight, Laura's going to do her take on some on uh, a couple of recipes. Yep. She said she's doing a little bit of this a little mash up. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we're going to see what it's all about. Yeah, so I I stuck the recipe for what I'm going to do down in the comments below. Um, and not down the there. not the comments, the description box. Yeah. Um, but there, there's like a million different ways you can do French toast vegan. Um, basically it's just a matter of cre creating some kind of coating and then frying it up in the pan. Um, there are a couple of new products, uh, on the market within the last few years that really make it easy. And they make it delicious. Yes. So the newest one is the Just Egg. Yeah, it comes yeah. like you'll see it. It's it, it's by the right. eggs. Yeah, and it's yeah. in a bottle and it says just egg. Yeah, um, it's what? kind. Of, I feel like it's kind of pricey, but so, well, supposedly they've been lowering the price. Yeah, I think I they're... think it's supposed to be like four ninety nine now for that bottle. It um, it used to be like six or seven. I don't know. We have found it at Aldi for two ninety nine. I think on clearance, it yeah. had like three days to go. Yeah, but we used it. Hey, at two ninety nine, I'm all about it. Mm -hmm. But it probably makes of all the things that you can make with just egg. I think that 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 French toast is the it's the jam. Yeah, yeah. it's it one hundred percent worth it. Because even like a whole bottle on making French toast for even just two people, it's worth it. One hundred percent. Now making like a vegan scrambled egg, eh, it's not worth it. Like the the output that you get from it, yeah, is not enough. It's yeah, too it's, expensive. Yeah, it's pretty like it's tasty and it it acts like a it acts like a an egg in the pan um for scramble but yeah. um yeah it, it's the a bottle is supposed to be i think eight servings which is hilarious yeah eight, eight yeah i don't even know it's definitely not even close it's mm. like maybe one good person serving yeah i feel like um another product that works really well for french toast is the follow your heart uh egg I, f I forget exactly what they call it but it comes in like a little egg carton thing and it's shelf stable oh, yeah, and it's a powder it's like. um so you open that box up and then there's a little packet that has the powder in it yeah um, but it's that crazy cardboard outside that yeah, looks yeah. like like an egg carton yeah, yeah. like four eggs in yeah. the carton yeah, yeah yeah um it works really well for french toast um but like to try and make a scramble out of that, it's it's not. I don't like it. Kevin likes it. I feel like it's got kind of a squeaky. Man, <laughs> y'all know I love food. What's up? <laughs> Come on. I I can be really picky about food, but that it's like it hits a spot for me. I don't know what it is. I'm just like I like it a lot, mm. well, especially like breakfast burritos where well, i'm just not eating it plain yeah yeah exactly. when you add it with other stuff it's but the, ju the just egg that's the thing with it is you can eat it just plain and you're like oh this is good yeah, yeah. it's just you're like whoa that was eight dollars <laughs> right right that's what happens so yeah that seems to be uh a... just egg not a sponsor no nobody's a sponsor yeah. except us and uh anybody who watches ads so awesome. Um, so real quick, just some yeah. people in the comments. Yeah, we see. got Steven Lisa, Yay, what's up? Hey guys. From Florida. We got Rosie saying 
you had me at breakfast <laughs> for dinner. That's what I'm talking about. We got uh, Mark and Lisa Fitzroy, Yay. 76 days in Kansas. What? I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, I mean, we shit talked Canvas, but, uh, Canvas, Kansas before we drove through. We and didn't the- shit talk. We trash talked. Shit talk is like way worse. Okay. Trash talk. Trash talk. Like, ah, flat trash talk we can take. Trash talk we can take back. Shit talk we can't. Okay. <laughs> we trash so- talk. Like the f- the first part we drove through was everything that we had thought it would be, but then it got beautiful, and we're like, "Oh, yeah. it's too bad we're in a hurry because we need to spend a little more time here." Yeah. yeah. So anyway, yep. we got TME. What up? Hey guys, how's it going? You'll notice they got the little wrench next to their name. So. Oh yeah. They can Does kick that... people out. Oh, you, you've given you've given him. The yeah. Power. After last week's debacle, I ain't got time <laughs> for that. Awesome. Uh, Siki Serenity, what's up? Hey. Karen, what's up? Hey, Karen. I hope you're staying warm. Karen's excited about being able to eat bread again. Yeah. Yeah, after Passover. Oh, is it after Passover now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Easter, well, sun, right? Yeah. The sun is still up, so I don't know if it ends tonight at sundown. Yeah, but she's in Canada. The sun's probably already well, set up there. Uh, I, they're central time, I think, in Ontario. Yeah. Is that where uh, you are? <laughs> I'm just saying that's pretty far north. I'm saying the sun's set already. Okay. If it, Karen. Are you eating uh, bread? Yes, Tell us. you're good. <laughs> <laughs> the blockers, what's up? Hey. T- the Dotsons in the house, what's what? up? Got a Tom party. and Faye. Yay. Just got here. What did we miss? I had to work. Nothing. T- we just <laughs> we just uh, trash talked Kansas for a little bit and yeah. took it back. That's yeah. all. Taking it, we take it all back. Yeah. Tom, man. Bit, so okay, real quick. Now that everybody's kind of here, I'm so sorry I didn't get the feed set up to where we could bring people in on this one. Uh, my work has been crazy the past like week. I've been like heads down, like barely even talking to Laura. So it's it's just been crazy at work. Like we've gotten a lot accomplished, but I just didn't have time to get Streamyard set up. But maybe in the future, or maybe. Somebody that's in the comments right now is going to be doing something similar. <laughs> uh, so anyway, sorry, but Tom, hold on, sorry for those of you in Canada. Uh, Joan is in the house. What's up? Oh, she's on. Oh, Karen said they're on Eastern time. She's on Eastern time. Oh, okay. So. Yes. Almost. <laughs> she's going to be hungry then while we're cooking. Yeah. There goes the sun. <laughs> uh, but Tom has supposedly learned a whole new computing language what he has been like superman stuff all, all kinds of he lists all kinds of stuff he's gotten done wow pretty awesome george what's up yeah I, I was reading that there's like this huge demand for COBOL right now really yeah i forget why <laughs> oh it's because like a lot of the systems like so uh i think they were saying the like a lot of the country's administrative machines like mm-hmm. the thing that like is processing all the checks and stuff to push out to mm-hmm. everybody all that stuff is written in COBOL so uh, like since they haven't really had to exercise it all that much <laughs> compared to what they're doing yeah. now uh, I guess that's what they were talking about I don't know I could be yeah. wrong talking shit you know what I'm saying yeah I can't remember what the exact reason was <laughs> yeah but I just saw that they were like oh you know calling up all these people out of retirement to work on COBOL so Tom's like, I wish I was retired. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so we switched some stuff up. How's the lighting look? We I borrowed a light from work. Mm-hmm. Thank you, work. Yeah, the the ones we have like seem to wash us out too much. I just yeah. need to probably get a another um, film to put oh. on the outside of it. Oh, people can't see that when I move the. Can't see what when I move this, they can't see that. So, oh, okay. no, because the camera's not on that, it's just weird for us. <laughs> um, well, I guess we should start cooking this stuff. Uh, if there's any, yeah, questions or, yeah, anything. anyway, is anybody cooking tonight? Yeah, anybody joining us with the uh, are you eating breakfast for dinner? Yeah, are you, you eating to... dinner? It doesn't matter. Yeah, we're just here to hang are you out. Just hang, yeah, just hanging out. Um, if you got here late, the, the recipe, I put it down in the um, description box below. 
it, it's like nothing crazy. Um, and it's pretty loose. Like I'm going to use some certain things, but not everybody has to use those things. So, um, yep. yeah. Well, this mouth is made for eating. <laughs> Does that mean I need to get started? <laughs> yeah. So, actually, let's call this out. I'm going to go ahead and call this out. What? I like how you hit it back here uh -huh. so nobody would see it. Hey, I'm still going to make him eat his vegetables. Who eats broccoli with freaking French toast? We're going to. Man. <laughs> it's very unlike the time that Laura made pancakes. <laughs> and she, like, freaks out when she doesn't have, like, a vegetable to eat. Like, I'm good. Like, give me some vegan sausage. Give me some pancakes. Kevin's all about the brown plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Like, I feel like gravy I need to on have... it. Yeah. So then she busts out, like, this big-ass thing of corn. <laughs> it was like, the closest thing I had. Like, who eats? Like, I can get corn pancakes. Corn cakes, I guess, if you call mm -hmm. them. Cornbread pancakes. But... Corn in pancakes? It wasn't in the pancakes. It, well, no, it wasn't. That was the even weirder part. Like, at least if it was in the pancakes, I could have put <laughs> right. something savory on top. I love you still. COVID-19. <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Awesome. All right. I guess so, I Laura, let's do yes. this. Let me get started. So, um, what do you do? That oh, there's your water. water. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you need a flour for this, and um, one of the flours that a lot of people use for, um, like, vegan omelets and vegan crepes and chickpea, I uh, just gave away. Um, for <laughs> chickpea. <laughs> yes, chickpea. Chickpea flour is, because it has a certain taste that, I mean, I won't say it's eggy, but it's... I don't know. It has a certain taste. And I don't have straight chickpea flour, but what I do have is this Bob's Red Mill um, gluten-free all-purpose flour, which is mostly chickpea flour. Let's see. It's chickpea. It's got potato starch, tapioca, some sorghum, and a little bit of fava in it. So I'm going to use this. Um, you can use just regular wheat flour. So is there a purpose to using the flour? Does it thicken it up? I'm sorry. Did you say that already? Um, yeah. So the like the thicken. It, there's only four ingredients here for this. It's the flour, cornstarch, nutritional yeast, and milk. So milk. Um, this plus the nutritional yeast and the cornstarch um, that'll basically thicken the milk, so it'll coat the bread. So, question. Yes. The milk. I always see some people, like, put lemon in the milk for this. Um, that's to make it... Oh, like so... That, yes. So, uh -huh. if you want to fake a buttermilk, you can just put a little bit of um, either, like, apple cider vinegar or lemon juice into the milk. Um, we do this all the time with, like, soy milk or whatever. And it makes it all, like, gloopy and slightly sour, like a buttermilk. Um, and you can use that in recipes like you would use buttermilk. But we don't need to, we don't need to do that here. We are not doing that. Okay, cool. Yes. So. Quarter cup of this. Tom told me I'm going to eat it and eat it now. <laughs> Throw back to the RV. Yes. That was so good. So good, Tom. So yeah, corn to the pancakes. Joan, I'm all about it. Like put corn in the pancakes i'm good but like having a side of corn and having pancakes like on the same plate it just was weird it was weird i ate laura i ate it you did i complained a lot and i bring it up every chance that i get yes he does he tells the story all the time yes why don't yeah. you tell everybody how pickles are grown that's a good one <laughs> i can tell that story while you're doing this yeah why don't you so Story time with Kevin Miller. Driving, I'm in the car with my mom, and I think I'm... Cornstarch. I'm going to do two tablespoons. You guys got that? Two tablespoons of cornstarch. I mean, it's written down in there. Yeah. Um, so, 
I'm riding with my mom, and I think I was like 16. I was driving, I think. I could have been 15 or 16. And I don't even know where we're going, but I look over at her, and out of the blue, I literally have never even thought about this my whole entire life. But for some reason, I said to my mom, isn't it crazy how they grow pickles hydroponically? And she looked over at me, and she goes, are you a dumbass? <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Um, that I learned what pickling was. One and a half teaspoons of nutritional yeast. Yeah, so, so it's a very them, short story. Well, no, tell, tell them what, how you, I mean, that doesn't explain what you thought was going on. That that the pickles were grown in the jar? Yeah, I said hydroponic. No, I didn't say in the oh. jar. I just oh. said hydroponically. Okay. Yeah, that's all I said. I literally said nothing about a jar. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm not that stupid. I mean, I know I'm stupid, but shit. Give me a little bit of credit. So, anyway, yeah. Oh. Broccoli and bananas is delicious. No, that's definitely Paul typing right there, boy. <laughs> That was amazing. Broccoli and French toast is weird. D hey, dude, I'm with you, but here's the thing. If I I, I have to do these trade-offs where it's like... He gets French toast. I get French get toast, but I've also got to have Here, I'm gonna put this something green. Cornstarch yeah. always gets everywhere. It's a super fine powder. Yes. So what is cornstarch? Corn starch. You didn't ask me what potato starch oh, is next. Tom said that's not as bad as milking a cow by cranking its tail. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Did he tell us that story? I feel like he did. All I know is there's a good one of this little kid who uh, he has to go milk a cow. It's a video. You guys got to go look it up. And uh, so they're like milking a cow for the class. And so this little boy comes up and they're like showing him how to do it. He grabs a hold of the udder and he yanks his hand away. And he's like, that's a penis. Disgusting. So it's hilarious. <laughs> Definitely go look it up on YouTube after we're done with this. Idea. It is hilarious. You'll watch it on repeat. Trust me. So. Uh, I got a cup of milk here that I'm going to whisk into here. Um, I'm just using unsweetened soy milk. Mmm. Unsweetened soy milk. So living on the edge, part of the brown food group, the BFGs. What's up? <laughs> so good. So I'll just put this out there. I would recommend in the future... In making this, don't use a square thing. I would mix in something circular. I don't have a small, like a... It's going to make more sense to put these breads into this yeah. than into a... But what I'm saying is you make it in a round thing so you don't have all the stuff in the side. Yeah, yeah. And then pour it into that. It says someone who uh, doesn't do dishes. <laughs> well, if you let me deep fry everything, <laughs> we'd be on a different playing field. Steve and Lisa are making French toast too. Yay. What's up? Awesome. And mimosas. Uh, Chris Belafato eating a bowl of Lucky Charms. That is amazing. I saw that. <laughs> My hair ends up in all the food. Every time. I apologize to everybody at the RV thing who uh, got some of my hair in their food. It doesn't, I mean, at least when I like prep that stuff, I put my hair up. It's not up right now, so. All right. So Tammy is one for French toast. French toast is delicious. Man, I heard you guys are doing a lot of moving around out there. What are y'all playing? Charade or not? What is it? Uh, musical chairs? What? Do you need me to do it? What do you need? Um, hold this. Just hold it over here so it doesn't drip. I'm just going <laughs> to... 
more how grab that here. <laughs> Somebody needs a hairnet. Mm -hmm. Like at the bakery. I never wear a hairnet. I would just wear a bandana over my head. So Tom says he read today that the buzz cut is making a comeback for men. That is true. I led I led the whole thing. So I've also seen like a lot of people shaving their beards so that like when they wear their face mask. Uh, but I'm not going to do it. I've decided. Ooh, Laura and I did get face masks though. And we got two more on the way. Yes. Unfortunately, have... they're not right here. Yeah. I don't even know. Mine's in the back. Yeah, mine's in the bedroom. So. I, we both got solid black ones because I wanted it to be the color of Laura's heart. Yep. And then she got a retro vintage. Yeah, it's like a floral, cute floral. It's my favorite one. word. Oh, favorite two words. Retro and vintage, yeah. Cornstarch is how you keep your shirt smooth. That's what Paul says. <laughs> I think folding like you do makes your shirt smooth. All right. Mine don't ever end up like that. Oh, boy. Are we at to the point? A couple of extras that we got back here. You can use a face shield. Use a hairband and glue a plastic page to cover it. Oh, I got you. Yeah, like a headband. And then you use the... Plastic, you know, the ones that they used to write on in school with the the lit bottom, the overhead projectors. Oh, yeah. Use the plastic sheet like that, like eight and a half by 11. That's perfect. I don't know why we're not using that. Yeah, I don't either. It's pretty brilliant, dude. That's why Tom gets paid the big bucks in Canadian dollars. Man, so what are y'all doing to keep yourself occupied? A couple of updates. Kevin's still doing just six weeks. Boom. It was tough today. I was grunting in the back. He was. My, my right shoulder started bothering me during my push-ups. And then I rode four miles today. I've been riding because it's been nice outside um, when I'm home early enough. Yep. I literally have like a three-minute commute. Not even that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not even that. No. Depending on which door I go uh what have you been doing baby um i've been doing yoga with adrian that's right uh, oh i did yoga with adrian with laura the other day yes on weekend. sunday we or, did it together yep guys is it already thursday and we did that on sunday yeah i know time is doing weird things for sure yeah oh uh, you want to know something sad call out on a person that passed away today or yesterday the dude from Cocoon. Which dude from Cocoon? The though? guy that owned the boat. In His last name started with a D. I forgot his name. Anyway, a little sad. Cocoon's a great movie, though. Um, another thing you can do is you can put a little vanilla in this. I'm not, I'm not doing that because I'm just not. I like uh, what? a little... Yeah, Brian Dennehy. Yes, uh, Seeking Serenity. What? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's fucked up. Sorry. Yeah. So, I actually saw that dude on the street in San Francisco when I lived there. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was doing some theater there or something. Yeah. So, anyway. Sad note. Yep. George, Seeking Serenity. Yep, that's it. Sad. Um, so, Paul says they're playing musical houses over there. Dude, how funny was that video with him in the golf cart? What the hell? That oh, was pretty awesome. <laughs> Paul had a skeleton driving a golf cart around the, oh. around the house. <laughs> I forgot who's staying with them. It's somebody from the RV thing. Anyway, he was... Maybe Paul can like this. Yeah. Anyway. Karen said, it's still snowing in Ontario. And she just came back from seeing the trailer. Yeah, but the heat's on, so that's good. So, by the way, 
uh, Stephen Lisa, nomadic hobbyist, mm -hmm. she's making mask and said, "Hey, if you need one, reach out to her." Oh, nice! Yeah, so I actually super sweet. got a bunch of uh, a bunch fabric. of quilting fabric off the of eBay, and um, I, I think tomorrow I'm actually gonna pull out all my crap and make some masks. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Hmm. Anyway. Oh, he was an alien, man. That's right, George. Let's see. I'm going to put the, this this way. Okay. So that's I fine. can. Yep. And <laughs> driving around with lazy bones. That was so good. So the uh, nonstick doesn't want to work for this. <laughs> we can see. Oh, uh, yeah. We, you talk so much good stuff. But, I don't know if you guys can see, it's browning up its little crust. He was in Tommy Boy, that's right. He owned the auto parts place. Does anybody know the name of the auto parts? No, it started with an M. McAllen oh. Mc something. What? Uh, I'll eat it. Mm. Just throw it in the pan. What? I'm going to go rinse this off. Laura, this is getting really hot. These things are just going to, like, instantly stick. All right. McCallahan. Was that it? Was it McCallahan parts? What did I tell you? I could already smell it. Yeah, but it's not actually. Yeah, just turn down the heat. Though. I did it's already. Okay. He was in Rambo. Oh, he was the sheriff in First Blood. You want to know something? I'm going to go ahead and put this out here. I've never seen any of the Rambos. What? Yeah. I never would have guessed that about Kevin. You want to know another one? I've never seen any of the Terminators. What What were you doing? I don't even know. Is there more than one? <laughs> oh, yeah. There's T2. I remember that. I'm, man, I'm blowing people's minds. I tell you what. I, listen, I, watched well, I already knew he'd never seen Princess Bride. Never. Is... Callahan Breaks. That's it. I thought I saw that it was like, like McCallan. McCallahan. Callahan Breaks. Man, so good. Thank you. He was a Never Cry Wolf. I don't think I've ever seen that. Seeking Serenity, who are you? Chris Belfato, what the hell, Kevin? I'm <laughs> sorry, man. I like funny four-letter word. But he's how, how many times have you seen Grandma's Boy? What world do you live in? That's what George asked me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sorry, everybody. Sorry to let you down. So the bread we're using is a sourdough that I got at Trader Joe's. Thanks for changing the subject. <laughs> I do want to shout out to Trader Joe's though because um, it the way that they're handling things right now just makes you feel really good about shopping there. Like they're only letting a certain number of people in. Um, they have everything marked off, like the line waiting to get in. They have, um, like, the when you check out, they'll take your cart and you wait back and then you just come up to pay. Um, and then when you come in, they they give you hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. And they, hand -sanitizer. And they, uh, and they spray down the cart and sanitize it for you. Although they've already sanitized like the, the ones for you to take as well. Um, and then on the way out, they'll give you more hand, hand sanitizer. And they don't let you bring your own bags anymore. Really? Yeah. That's cool. Laura looked beat up when she came back from the stores the other day. I felt bad. Okay. Teresa Morehouse from Chicago. What a... So do you think I should... Um, like break down and go ahead and uh, put some earth balance in this pan. Well, that's up to you, but I think it would be good you. Yeah. I think it's whatever it is, it's just too hot. All right, well, you need to go, otherwise this... It's just going to dry right up. Oh. Okay, I'm going to just turn that off for now.
The joys of live TV. Yep. I think there's actually a, a genre of um, of live cooking show fails. We'll be on there. Yeah, exactly. This, so this George, one sure will be. <laughs> George said that they at Costco they unloaded the cart and made and made them wait. They put a plastic shield between them and the cashier now. Yeah, uh, the, um, the other grocery stores, there's a plastic shield. Oh, Tom just asked what that was. So this is an earth balance. Earth balance. So they make about 500 different versions of these. They're all vegan. Yeah. None of them contain any dairy. Yeah, yeah all uh, earth balance But it's a vegan butter, are... vegan margarine. Yeah. All Earth Balance products are vegan. Um, they have uh, the best Cheez It substitute. Hell yeah, the they do the Earth, the Earth Balance cheddar squares. Yeah. Delicious. And they used Second. to make a, I don't know if they still do, um, a mac and cheese, like the box with the powder. I don't think they make that anymore. No. I haven't seen it all the time. Oh, Taylor just made it. He said we can get started now. Oh, uh, we just cool. put these in the yeah. pan. And by the oh, look. and then by the magic of television, hey, we're making yeah. French toast, everybody. And uh, that's what makes it. That's what makes what fun? Oh, all of our, all the, uh, fudge ups. Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, Taylor is going to be putting on a class for people that want to learn how to live stream or put on conferences. He's doing like a free, like, five day, um, overviews of uh, like what you should be doing. It's more for conferences, not for like yeah. live streaming YouTube. At least I don't think so. Taylor can correct me. But yeah, if you guys want to check it out, it's pretty good. We got, let's see what's coming up. Uh, Paul, are you guys doing anything anytime soon? I know it's last Saturday live, but blah, blah, blah. That's, I'm sure he's, they're going to do something. Oh, is that next that. week? Because, yeah. No. yeah. Is it next Saturday? I think it is. Not this Saturday, but next. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it has to be. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, not... Yeah, a week from Saturday. RV Journeys, hey. Said uh, they're on a little hey. late. Uh, Randy was on in the beginning, but she just got back. Hey. My brother rode 40 miles the other day. He got a new bike from our friend Dan up in uh, Portland. God, it's so sick. Such a cool, such a cool setup. Italian toast. What up, Chris? So Chris, Joe Pizzu in the comments, co-worker. IT extraordinaire. <laughs> Yeah, I think that... Living on the edge. Is everyone still in Florida? Or did some escape? We escaped, but not very far. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, we're up in Atlanta. Yeah. I know some people are Team East still down there. Uh, what? So, Paul and Lorena, Motorhome Experiment, going to do a live on Saturday. Viewers from South Africa, UK... It may be a special guest from Hawaii. Nice. Hopefully it's Don Ho. If it's not Don Ho, I ain't watching. Oh yeah, Steve and Lisa. Well they live in Orlando, so they're still in Florida. I did do you do you guys know if they're still like doing that blockade going into Florida? There's a blockade going into Florida. Well it's not a blockade. They're like put a stop in. And supposedly like traffic was like backed up like crazy. Like they were like what business do you have in Florida, like trying to drive into Florida? Yeah, I saw they were doing something like that maybe in Utah. Yeah. 
Oh my god. Deb said Randy used to do 40 miles on his bike easily. His Harley. Oh. <laughs> so they're saying they are still doing that. That's crazy. Yeah, Don Ho's not around anymore. But I literally couldn't think of any other Hawaiian. Do you know any other ones? Um... Miss Hawaii. If Miss Hawaii is not on, I'm not going to watch it. Now I'm thinking about making French toast with Hawaiian bread. Hallelujah. What up? It should be hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can make it with holla. That is delicious. For sure. Oh, his kid. Willie Nelson's from Florida. Or from Hawaii. That's pretty awesome. I did not know that. I know. That's pretty cool, man. See, learning everything tonight. This is educational. Mm -hmm. Eating food and education. That's how we roll. McGarrett. <laughs> yeah, Taylor. Willie Nelson. Paul's son. <laughs> So, Tom says Mick Garrett. I don't know who that is. I was hoping he was thinking Mrs. Garrett from Facts of Life. Facts of Life. <laughs> the Facts of Life. The Facts of Life. I don't know the rest of the song. That's all I got. Yeah. Yes, boys. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you need a banana? We're not going to split it. Okay. Then give me a banana. No. I, I want a banana. Well, then I'll just eat one. Okay. Afterwards. Woody Harrelson from Hawaii? Man, I'm going to have to Snopes all this shit. Woody yep, Harrelson man. is vegan. Yeah, Woody Harrelson is vegan. Hey, what up? And when they filmed in Atlanta, he would always go into Cafe Sunflower. Hashtag more Laura's clients. Womp womp. Yeah. It's, man, yeah. <laughs> Craziness. It's not a good time to have small businesses as your clients. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mick Garrett, I guess, was on Hawaii 5 -0. I don't know. I don't know what Hawaii Five O was a TV show. Yes. I remember feeling like I saw the like intro to Hawaii Five O, and that's about as far as I got in the show. I don't honestly. I don't remember a lot about it myself. Yeah. Um, but the intro is and the music is iconic. So. Oh, Mick Garrett was a Hawaii Five O character name. Oh, Paul says, how many small businesses are going to be killed off by this? A, I think a lot of them are going to get killed off, but B, I literally think so many are going to start up. Yeah. People are going to get people are going to get wise, and they're going to get, like, they're going to get down and work their asses off, and they're going to start their own thing. Well, a lot of, a lot of them are evolving. They're changing what they do. Yeah. Um, the the easier they can pivot, the better. Time. Like if your if your restaurant was you know a sit down fine dining restaurant, you're going to have a harder time pivoting to carry out and take out orders exclusively than yeah. if you were like um, a grab and go kind of place that just had a few s seats. Yeah, so. which I can like. I love going to restaurants, but I also like the idea of these ghost kitchens popping up, like being able to try like all these different people's foods. Like I had the idea of the ghost kitchen a long ass time ago, man. Yeah. Back in the bakery days. Talk about doing bakery. it as like a little container park with. Like you come in, you like, it's already pre-certified kitchen. You yeah. just have to have your license, the whatever license you had to have in Georgia. Yeah. And you just come in and cook. You rent it out and you paid by whatever day, night. And if you were going to be more permanent than others, but it allowed people to like go, could I start a restaurant? Yeah. Um, but never got around to it. Such as like a lot of ideas that I have. 
right? Yep. I'd be a millionaire if I wasn't in, in my own way. Yeah, also, Taylor, with how many big businesses are going to downsize. Yeah. Especially, yeah, run more efficiently with less people. Like, yeah. I think a lot of these people are going to realize how much... How much they don't how have much the they can shed of, yeah. of huge offices. Yeah. Or even yeah. people. Do we need 15 people to talk between the engineers and the sales people? Yeah. Like, becomes that office space type thing. Right. But yeah, I feel like... But you also have, like, a company that I work for. There are butts and seats, and they just, uh, I feel like, sometimes can't get past that. Like, today, I feel like we're more productive than ever as an internal workforce, people working from home. The problem is none of the sales are there. So people feel like, oh, well, if we're in the office, we'll get sales. And it's like, it's not going to happen like that. You need people to buy from you. And they're not coming out to your office, so what's the point of the office? to have a centralized printer. Like I get people talking and I know some people get this zoom overload and I think it just comes from people not understanding how to deal with a remote workforce. A remote workforce is different than having a people that are in an office. Like you can't schedule meetings back to back to back to back to back on a zoom. It's just, it doesn't make sense. I mean, people get sick of the meetings that the, that they have in their regular office. Anyway. Yeah. A lot of meetings are completely unnecessary or take five times as long as they need to. Yeah, Taylor, like, yeah, it, it, people dropping down to a 5,000 square foot space, lose 20 employees and still make more money than they did before. Yeah, it's like, we always have this idea of bigger is better. And like, it's, that's not necessarily it. I don't know. Any. Anyway, I didn't. I wasn't even like, dude. You guys posted like, y'all got crazy in that. Holy crap! Anyway, if you guys like talking about business or whatever, are you gonna plug that? To, yeah, Taylor and I are, are. We've been following these dudes, uh, the Tropical NBA, Dan and Ian, and they're doing a weekly pod. They call them at the Weekly Pod Shop on uh, YouTube. Man, I got some good ass insights. It's a good like. Very bare bones setup. They normally they have a podcast that comes out every every Thursday morning at eight a.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? That's their tagline at the end. <laughs> um, but the they have some good guests and they have some good talk about business. So if you like hearing all that, man, definitely check it out, man. That's awesome. And now that they're doing every day East Coast time is at noon, so I get to come back here to the RV, eat with Laura, watch that. Get some insight of what's going on. Especially it's like a worldwide group, so you get to hear a little bit of everything. Anyway. <laughs> People are saying preach. Yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. So Taylor brings up the fact of, like, checking out uh, Facebook. I noticed this, too, where people are, like... Um, People are running restaurant restaurants out of their house where you can buy like uh, vegan tamales, right, on Facebook Marketplace that are local and people are making yeah. them, right? I mean, that's all cool until the government decides that they're going to start cracking down on that. Stuff. Yeah, no, uh, I totally get it. So uh, I made some uh, sausage today. Where do people get the recipe for that? Uh, my head. <laughs> what is it made out of? TVP and lentils Ooh, and TVP. flour and lots of spices and stuff. So these two are your here. This plate's yours. I have put mine in here. Oh, you're heating up. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm gonna do that too. I'm not just all good looks, everybody. Come on. Is this done? Huh? So, I'm going to put some walnuts on mine and some bananas. <laughs> Dernie says every time this thing beeps, she thinks it's the RV. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. When do we get to the broccoli? Ah, that's awesome. She heard, she, 
she felt you through the comments, man, coming in. <laughs> Run with Rosie or somebody will get a hair and a tamale. Very true. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Tom, the broccoli's here, dude. She heard you. I'm doing it. Melissa and I are cruising next week. We're the only passenger. Where are you going? <laughs> I think that's a joke. Oh, I was like, what that was a hell? joke? All right, so here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to eat my broccoli so it's all out of the way and while that stuff heats up. And I can throw some nutritional yeast. So for those of you that are not big broccoli fans. Of course, the last one came out perfect. Yeah. There's some nutritional yeast. Man, did you say Got some maple syrup here. Oh, so, we also have com some Canadian, and we have birch. So this uh, this is actually not what it says on the. It's not this. It's our uh, Wendy and Ken maple syrup. Oh my God, where's that? It's here. No, but where's the other? Oh, it's underneath because it, they gave us a gigantic bottle of it. So uh, yeah, they are like, they're our favorites. Like a growler. This is bigger than a growler, man. Yeah. It was a lot. Half keg? Pony <laughs> keg? Maybe? Tom, um, ask me about the broccoli again. Oh, he said, what a good boy eating my broccoli. You're welcome. That's why this... Uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Heat of the moment. Heat of the moment. So, yeah. It's going to be crazy what happens in the future. I don't even know what to do. Are you guys doing anything, like, with any investments? Yeah, are you changing anything up, or are you holding? Or... It's like I hear everybody, they're like, don't touch anything. I'm just, I have a hard time with that. I think it depends on where you are in life. Like, yeah. You know, do you have time to write it out or, you know. So I read a crazy, crazy ass thing today. What? Done. I'm usually like that. I'll eat like the vegetable first. Mm -hmm. so. um, but what I read today, the $843 billion that was earmarked for small business loans is already gone. Mm -hmm. that's crazy not to get political or anything but I just thought that was yeah. some crazy ass news what did I sprinkle on the broccoli yeast you said oh nutritional yeast Chris mm -hmm. yeah. if you come in the office I'll let you try it sometime if you haven't had it before it's good it's kind of like a cheesy ish taste ish kind of Mm -hmm. It's good. It's usually like, so back in the day before we had all these fake cheeses, that was like the base for vegan mac and cheese. It was flour, nutritional yeast, and some milk. Yeah. And you would heat it up in a saucepan and mix it around, and that's what we use for a cheese. Honestly, um, I and still, I still love it. I still kind of prefer the old hippie, you know, like uh, um, granola, like the gravy at the grit. Oh, the grit. Man, if y'all haven't been to Athens, you eat the grit. So good. <laughs> Paul, or Taylor, don't come stay back home. True. If there's anybody I trust, it's Chris. All right, so how are you doing this? Did you put this on there? No, because you, you cooked it in there. Oh, my God, so soft. That's what she said. She wouldn't say, oh, my God, in front of that, though. <laughs> Come on, now. That's why it's so inappropriate. Oh, banana. <laughs> so Steve set his max retirement date to 625 days. <laughs> it's awesome. Man. I'm so ready to get back on the road. How about you guys? And I keep dreaming of going to Idaho 
I just want to go like sit in some hot springs on a river. Hallelujah. <sighs> go for hikes. Yeah, why couldn't I have been stuck in Pagosa Springs? Hug our friends. Yeah, that's why I want to do that too. I want to hug all my friends. Can't even hug my damn family. It's like we're we're Ain't close by Taylor and Beth, but we can't really go see them. Yeah. I'm ready to like you know, figure out if I can sell the rest of these RV thing two tickets. I don't even know if it's happening. <laughs> I mean, that's our hedge against inflation. Exactly. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'm funny. Um, yeah, so. I'll take this out of here. Let's hope I don't dump it on the floor. See how pretty that is? See, I'm like decorating this all on the top like this, and I'm not going to eat it like that. What's everybody else having for dinner, man? So one person having French toast, Chris Bellafato's eating Lucky Charms. If Lucky Charms are vegan, dude, I'd have a bowl with you. We'll find, we'll find a bowl of cereal that we can have together. What is this for? Pepper and salt. Oh, I didn't know if we'd need it. For what? Either the sausages. The sausages. I don't know. Psst. Man. All right. George is trying That's to like I... do point zero 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 one bitcoins. Hell no, man. <laughs> so which one is this? Did you say? Wendy and Ken's. Wendy and Ken. That pure maple Canadian syrup tapped from the trees on their family's land. Really good. Oh, somebody's having poutine. What up? Mm. Laura, what's the syrup you used? So, you, Chris, you can't get this syrup. This is uh, from our friends Wendy and Ken from Canada. It's just maple syrup, but it's... yeah. It's in just in a smaller container because dude, they gave us like a jug, like mm -hmm. it's huge. Yeah. So, Mark and Lisa, prime rib and mashed potatoes. <laughs> you smell potatoes, right? So that's good. Which president was that with the potatoes? Was that Clinton? I think that was Dan Quayle. Was it Dan Quayle? Huh. I'm surprised I even remembered that. Who the hell was he the vice president for? George um, Bush? Bush the first? The first one. Karen's having salad. Salad is so good. So good. Mm -hmm. Especially a good salad. Paul asked one of these fried patties. They ain't yours. That's what it is. <laughs> So I made some um, I made some sausages, um, all pantry staples. TVP. Yeah, TVP and um, flour, and there's some lentils, some cooked lentils in there, um, and a bunch of spices. But I also uh, I also got a packet of the Guardian breakfast sausages in case these didn't work out today. <laughs> So I had backup sausages. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah. So Laura makes these sausages, and then what were the other ones that you made? What were they made out of? What other ones? Mm, maybe they weren't. So, those are meatballs. Oh, so, the meatballs. Me. Now that recipe is on our website. You can probably do something like that and just add some spices to it. I feel like it'd be just as good. Yeah, you could probably make that. Yeah, you could make that recipe and then just... Um, I don't know if they would uh, hold together in a patty form as well, but because um, those you bake <laughs> in ball form, so you don't have to move them around too much. Tammy, it is awesome. I wish we were hanging out with you guys and we'd make everybody some food. Mm -hmm. Would have been before the quarantine. 
It just didn't happen. Next time on Lust. <laughs> All right, so when you guys are eating French toast, let's talk about this. Yeah. Or pancakes or waffles. And say you have sausage or some other accoutrement on the plate. Yeah. Did I use that word right? Yeah. Man, look at me. <laughs> I definitely can't use protagonist right, but... Um, do you feel like you have to get a little bit of everything in one bite when you're eating? I got this from my dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was always like he would cut up his sausages, he would cut up the thing, and they would be equal amounts. See? So it would be one, one, one. I actually used to be a Patrick where everything had Oh, you to were be, on the lunch plate. Everything had to be separated, not touching... Um, like really? When I was a kid, yeah. Now I would like peas and mashed potatoes. That was okay for those to get together, but for the most part, I wanted everything separate. And then I would eat, I would eat them from my least favorite to my most favorite. It would be the last one. Seeking serenity, big word, Kevin. Yep. I like sandwiches with pancakes or waffles and sausage in the middle. Yeah, dude. I'm in. I like pan. I like pancake tacos. Pancake breakfast tacos. Oh yeah, you just was that the first time uh, that you had a Monte Cristo at the bakery? Did we make one at the bakery? Yeah. Oh well. Also, we had a we had a deep fryer at the bakery, and when we would get um, get a little crazy, we used to basically um, will eat deep fry. Yeah, we would batter and deep fry just about. We would challenge customers to like give us their like outlandish thing. I think that's where the pile came from. Somebody couldn't decide, so they wanted one of everything on a plate in a pile. It actually became like one of the biggest sellers. So, yeah. yeah. So I think, did, did we not do this? Take an entire breakfast biscuit and batter it and deep fry it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, good times. Ed, ask me if we're still in Georgia. Yeah, dude. Still in Georgia. Hey, out. We have freaking, like, the best. We've had, like, amazing weather. Knock on wood. This has been the longest spring. I think Georgia's ever had. Like, normally it lasts about a week, and then it gets too hot to do anything. Yeah. I mean, all the trees have already bloomed, right? But the bugs aren't up yet. Yeah. And the pollen lasted for, like... Less than a week. Yeah. It really hasn't been bad. Done. Uh -huh. um, but at night, it's been like it's been cold the last couple nights around 40. Um, but it's been in the 50s at night mostly and in the 70s during the day. It's been amazing. Paul and the team are leaving. See you guys. See you. Um, Sorry, I forgot what you said. I was just going to add something to it. Oh, well. Sorry. Um, about spring in Georgia. Oh, yeah. This has been amazing. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? I don't know. Man. Oh, no. I really do miss like hanging out with people, fires and everything, but I'm also kind of enjoying just being here, hanging out with you, getting the stuff down around the RV. I will say Kevin's done better than expected because he's definitely an extrovert. I get time in because I mean... I'm going into the office. There's only like one or two other people in there. Um, so I do get my feel of having another person, but even, I mean, even when we're out parked in Moa nowhere, I'm not terrible. I mean, whenever I'm like right next to Taylor and Beth or right next to Paul and Lorena, it's like, I just want to talk to them all the time and it's not good for productivity for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, sorry I'm so quiet. I just love to watch Kevin eat. 
<laughs> I think that's comment of the night. That was amazing. Well, we miss you guys. Yeah. We had an amazing meal in Tijuana together. Now, I will say a couple of things I've fallen down on. And George just pointed out. I haven't been working on my ham radio certs. I've been wanting to do that. I kind of traded that off with learning how to play chess better. So there's been a tournament going on on the chess app on the phone. So been having a good time. <laughs> Tom, seek professional help. You're not alone. <laughs> Is it the way that I cut? Where y'all? Man, is it very? Is it mesmerizing? I think it's the way that you get it inside the beard uh, and not get it all mm -hmm. here. Well, if you had a close up, it's it's uh, um, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but you definitely have a way that you. Did I do it? You, yeah, you like push your lips out so that your mustache points, points. forward. Yeah. Kind of like what's uh, a hippopotamus's teeth, <laughs> right? Like that. <laughs> uh, RV Journeys, what's, what was the awesome meal, Laura? Mm. Wait, what is she talking about? I missed that. Inspiration one. 9. Mm. With Tom and Faye in Tijuana. Oh, dude. It was so good. Yeah, it was... Um, I have kind of watch myself. Uh, mm. <laughs> Tom had a burger. Mm -hmm. And um, Kevin had this drunken torta, which was this, basically a, a gravy dip sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was like a take on a French dip, wasn't it? No, because it was well, yeah. But the whole like the whole sandwich, they put sauce on the whole sandwich. Um, we had this like platter in the beginning with these amazing mushrooms and some like a charcuterie. Yeah, kind of. Not him, not meat and cheese, but no. Um, I forgot what I had. Anyway. Um, Ed Milius. I hope I'm saying that right. Had to shave his beard in favor of a respirator for a part of the job. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Thankfully in IT, I haven't had to wear a respirator yet. Fan Tom have been playing Remy Cube and Quirkle. I don't know how to play either of those. But we'll play next time we see each other. Yep, you'll have to teach us. Yep. I wonder if they have... Um, so, in the food service industry, they have these beard nets. I wonder if they've come up with um, respirators to work around. <laughs> There's no real way. Yeah. Except for them. Nose plugs and a scuba thing. Mm. That's where I'm at. So many good meals in Mexico, Tom. For real, dude. It was so cheap. I miss that taco place. Blue's Mango. Blue Mango. Yeah, Blue's Mango. So, so good. All right, so I'm guessing this is Deb. Have I ever had to style or sculpt my beard? Or have I ever done it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, in Portland. Mm-hmm. I went to Portland, uh, and yeah, he went to a a shop, and they yeah. neatened up his beard. A manly, blah 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 place. Also, did it in San Francisco, and they sucked at it. It looked like such a cool place. It was terrible, but the place in uh, Portland, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, they were awesome, uh, but really, outside of that, not really. I usually get too lazy. 
Mark and Lisa if are asking if they think the Mexico trip is still on. I mean, I guess that's on Mexico and us to figure out. Yeah. I would think so. I would hope so. Um, There's just no way to know what's yeah. happening that far in advance right now. There is. Somebody got by me a DeLorean and a flex capacitor in a Vitamix. Take care of it. <laughs> um, let's see here. Kara's going to teach her son Spite and Malice. It's a card game for two. Never seen it. Never heard of it. Do you want half this one? No, I'm good. It's all for me. <laughs> I even like the sausage with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taylor says he has six Vitamixes for his morning smoothies. So if any of you guys... You should post that. Can you post that on our Facebook? Yeah. I'll tell everybody. So go hit up our Facebook. It won't be right now. It'll be later or tomorrow. But we found this hilarious article on where people do these, like, they're always into, like, optimizing everything in their life. Mm -hmm. And this article kills it. It yeah. is the funniest it's probably some yeah. of the best satire I've, re I've read in, a, yeah. in quite a while. Yeah, it hits all the points, like morning yeah. routines and supplements and all of it. It's so good. So good. <coughs> so Tom says, if time travel has, had been invented... Has been invented. Hope that they would come and save us. Probably not. They're like, man, this fucking ding dongs deserve it. Yeah, Maybe bring the vaccine. I hear you. Uh, goodness. I can't wait for what's for dessert. All right, Tay Tay's out. See you, homie. See ya. Where's the BS and as we finish up? Mm hmm. So, what do you guys like to put on your French toast? Shut up. Yeah, we opted for bananas, walnuts, and maple syrup today. But that doesn't mean that we wouldn't put something different on. Vegan whipped cream, yeah, strawberries. Mm -hmm. Ooh, something with spice. Oh, yeah. I had a piece of the sausage on there. Mm -hmm. Berries. Is it Steve and Lisa? Is that what you guys put on yours tonight? Sometimes I'm a berry fan. I don't know. When people go crazy and there's like mixed berries, it's like too much. Strawberries or blueberries. Hell yeah, man. We do confectionery sugar. Yes. Yes. 100% Ed. That's where it's at. So we have blueberries every morning with our oatmeal. And then. We do? Just kidding. I'm like, where have you been? And then um, when we were at the store, when I was at the store last, I got a giant thing of strawberries, and they've been pretty good. So we've been having those every day at lunch with our other fruit. So uh, we opted for banana tonight. Karen, Canadian maple syrup. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there another maple syrup out there? Mm -hmm. Am Vermont, I right? Vermont would probably like to. Oh, yeah, that's either. true. Yeah. Vermont maple syrup is good, too. But there ain't no Florida maple syrup. Mm -mm. Not to trash talk Florida. They got palm trees. Calm. Whipped cream and strawberries. Yeah, buddy. Oh, shit. What? I forgot to plug in power on a laptop. Oh. <laughs> Five. Four. Three. Two. All right. Woo! <laughs>
It's a good thing you saw that. I probably never would have saw that. Ah, uh, Tammy's having red velvet cupcakes for dessert. If you can just drop by some of those, <laughs> pass them out the window. See, I want to bake some things, but the problem is, is like, you, there's no, you can't share it with anybody. So then you just have to eat all of it. All right. So, Stephen Lisa, my daughter-in-law always gives us Saskatoon berry syrup. It's delicious. What is Saskatoon berries? Mm, I don't know. I would, I would eat it. Deb and Randy made non-dairy milkshakes for dessert on Easter Sunday. Mm. What? Almond milk, dates, and frozen bananas. So good. That's what I'm talking about. Date shakes. Uh, High-tech, low-budget RV. What kind of induction cooktop is that? That is from um, Canadian Tire. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got that at Canadian Tire. Which one? Were in Yukon? Probably. Camped out at the Walmart next door? Yeah, I think it was that one. I can't remember exactly. Which, by the way, Canadian Tire. That's an amazing spot. Mm -hmm. It's way better than all the BS that we have down here. I don't think there's a, like really a name brand on this thing. <laughs> that was an awesome close up of Kevin's bicep. That's right. I don't. I don't mm -hmm. just do that for everybody. It just says Master Chef on it. So I don't love this induction cooktop, um, mostly because between. Like at there's two like the low the very lowest settings like 195 and then it goes up to 250. 195 basically turns it off and 250 it like boils more than you want it to. So there's not really that simmer setting. So so Karen says, do you know what Canadians call Canadian tire? Tire. <laughs> I would go with tire. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Tom said they actually posted a picture of them having Saskatoon berry pie in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Mm. So I guess that's where it's from. That's where the berry goes. She said crappy tire. Aww. Mm. Canadian tire is so much fun. <laughs> Boy, I got to see Paul go off the deep end when he saw the, like, hockey equipment and shit in there. Oh, my God. He was going crazy. Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Yeah. We haven't been to Saskatchewan yet. Mm -mm. There are so many berries out there that we haven't had before or, like, never seen. Like, that's one thing I was sad about when we did the Fruit Loop in Oregon is that it wasn't. That was the greatest. It was fall, so it wasn't berry season. Um, we did get to eat, like, all the apples, which was amazing. So I don't regret that part. But um, I would love to be there during berry season. We did it. We ate it all. Isn't that what you're supposed to do on a mukbang is eat all of it? I'm not afraid. Oh, man. Cool. That was delicious. I hope you guys' dinner was delicious. Yes. If you ate along with us, we hope you had a good time. I had a good time. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll figure out this junk by next week. Be able to get people on to talk mm -hmm. with us. Have dinner with us. Yeah, we'll work on that this weekend. and Because um, usually I put out on Monday or Tuesday what the next thing is going to be. Uh -huh. And... If we can do it, then we'll say so. Yeah. Maybe I'll ring one of you guys up and we'll do some testing. <laughs> Tom asked what's for dessert. That's I asked her before <laughs> and she said nothing. We had no well, we have a um, ice cream sandwich. We have an ice cream sandwich we can split. That's about it. Yeah. Did Kevin eat all of his broccoli? Bro, 
first thing I showed. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. We did it. What us, me, and you, we we did all of this. <laughs> and now I feel good about myself. We had a nice healthy lunch though. We did um we did a bowl with um what? So chef master. Master, master chef. chef. Yeah. yeah, it's just master chef. Yeah. I don't know what that means. This was not an expensive one. I think this was like fifty dollars maybe. So there are probably better ones out there that you can fine tune better. You think? I think. You know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe. All right. We're going to go. Yep. It's that time. We got to clean up. Mm -hmm. Got to find jammies and watch some TV. All yeah. Right. So thanks for coming and hanging out with us, you guys. Yeah, it was awesome. It's always good yeah. to see y'all in the comments. I know it's just yeah. a comment and it's not face to face, but yeah. we I'm, still miss all of you. I'm sorry you have to look at us and we can't look at you. Yeah. But we'll fix that in the future. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Oh, hold on. What? Hey, that's what you said last week. One ice cream sandwich that we could split. Yeah, we didn't uh. eat it. <laughs> we, have, we haven't eaten it yet. Anyway, we love you guys. Yeah. We'll see you later. Bye.